I'm out at 67. Yep. We're normal. All right. I'm ready if you are. Let's do it. I'll make the radio call. Yep. You want to look for traffic as we're taxiing out to the runway. Conway traffic, Cessna 67787 is out to the part of the runway 8 Conway. Now turn on a little more to the right. There you go. We can see a good downwind and base out there for runway 8. Yeah. I don't see anybody. And then if you just taxi left and right across this line, you can be looking for traffic. Because we really can't see above these wings looking left and right. We just have to turn the nose to see out the windshield. Yeah. To look left and right. So. We don't see anybody. We've checked the area. We've made our radio call. So let's continue the taxi past the whole short line and on to the runway. Which way are we going to take off this morning? We're going to take off. The winds are calm. So let's do the shortest taxi. Like I said, most pilots are lazy. Sounds we want to go the shortest distance, right? Yes. So runway 8 would be the best for us today. And generally on a calm wind day, most people here at Conway are going to take off on 8 and they're going to land on 2-6. Okay. And it's because that creates the shortest amount of ground time. Yeah. And so it's something to actually be watching for if the wind is calm, is that landing traffic is probably going to want to be landing on 2-6 as you're trying to take off on 8. Okay. Yeah, that's good to know. My wind is closed and latched. I'm pointed straight here. All right. Okay. Conway traffic, Cessna 67787, sparring runway 8, Conway. Now let's make sure our hat is on, our heading is correct. Should be about 080, so I just set that. Altitude, three, 320 or so. Yes. And I mean, uh, transponder is on. Okay. We right. good? We're good. All right. Feet off the brakes. There we go. Now the <laughs> rudder pedals are going to work. There we go. To help hold our direction. Airspeed's coming alive. There's 50 knots. We just start rotating back. Bring the nose above the tree line. There he is. And you're off. All right. It's a beautiful day. Yes, it is. I climb is 67, right? That's that's what we're shooting for. If we're anywhere between 65 and 70, I'm happy. Then I am happy as well. That might trim a little bit here. Man, water is glassy. There is not a breath of air moving out <laughs> there. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. totally calm. That's pretty. I don't think I've been up this early yet. Oh, I love flying early. It's hard getting up this early and getting out to the airport, <laughs> but once you get airborne, you go, wow. Yeah. I really like taking off before the sun really peaks over the horizon. Uh-huh. That's just... What's the, what's the uh, cause of weather? What's the cause of weather? The cause of weather. Uh, heat. That's right. It comes from... The sun, right? Sun, yeah. So, sorry, I was listening to, to that call. Oh yeah, I'm gonna turn him up a little bit. Let's go ahead and make a left turn. All righty. Look out your wingtip. Find something you want to turn to. Look back ahead as you start that turn. If probably you want to put this up if that camera's gonna see anything. <laughs> probably a good idea. 
I needed it down if I was going to see anything on right. takeoff. Yeah. <laughs> the sun. Yes. Good job. So that's a good left turn. Nice 90 degree turn. You, you can do a 90 just by looking right off your wingtip, finding something you want to turn to, look back ahead, start your turn, roll out on that object once you get there. Yeah. All right, so we're continuing the climb. Let's make one more 90 degree turn. Uh, traffic, it's King Air 323 Delta Bravo. Look ahead uh, before you start. Miles northeast, uh, this is kind of like left base, runway, playing uh, golf. You ever play uh, golf? Yeah, I used to. Haven't played in you a know, long time. You know how you look out there and you see where you're going to try to place the ball, right? Yeah. But whenever you go to swing, you got to keep looking at the golf ball. The mistake most people make is that they, they'll lift their head to look before their club actually hits the ball. Okay, yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, same with this. You want to look over there and see where you're going to turn, but when you go to make the turn, look ahead and then start your turn. Okay. Right? Keep your eyes in front when you're turning. Why do we want to do that? Uh, so you don't run into anything? Well, that's part of it, yes. Okay. Uh, the other thing is the, to keep the airplane coordinated as you go into a turn, you have to use the proper amount of rudder right. along with aileron deflection to get the roll that you want and keep the airplane coordinated. If you're not looking ahead, your nose can easily go to the right as you're making three left turn. Straight in, three mile five, yard one eight. <laughs> and it's because as we make a left turn, what we're doing is bringing the right aileron up and the left aileron down. And as we bring the right aileron up, that's creating drag on the right-hand side of the airplane. Uh, right. And lift on the left-hand side of the airplane. Uh, or east, not uh, we'll be entering on a left base for one eight. The other way. The other way around. As we go left, <laughs> it's going to be left aileron up. Therefore, it creates drag on the left side. Right aileron goes down, so we get lift on the right side. Check our traffic. Go ahead and make the left hand turn. Two yeah. mile, mile for one eight but if we create lift, we are also creating drag. Yes. So, actually, the nose wants to go to the right before it comes left. That and the tail wants to fall down inside the turn. So, by keeping our eyes straight ahead as we make a turn, we can keep the airplane coordinated, keep the nose from going the opposite direction of the turn. That makes sense. Feel sorry for him, don't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's like nothing moving me around up here. Okay. Let's just level off here at 2,500 feet. Okay. Remember, we're going to just push the nose over, retrim. Level off at our altitude, take the pressure off your hand. As you're starting to get airspeed now. Here the RPMs coming Our up on the engine. Uh, three yeah. on a five mile final. Now that you One have normal cruise speed, go ahead and set your RPM where you want it, which is about 2350, 2400 RPM. That's be a nice cruise RPM for us. And it's just a, re a slight reduction. You'll just hear the engine change slightly. That's it. That right there. Yeah. So we're kind of cruising along over Conway as we're doing this. Let's just, this is our training area that we generally use where the new airport's going to be. So yeah. What let's do is uh, turning and going straight toward that end of the river out there, that straight stretch of the river. 
basically this is going to be headed due west. Yeah. And let's just do a full 360 degree turn to the right or left. Either okay. way, just maintain a nice level altitude and uh, about a just a nice what you feel is a comfortable turn. Okay. Okay. That's all we got to do. All the way around. Let's go left. Okay. So we're going to roll out right back on that river when we come back. Nice, comfortable turn. If you gave it just a little shot of nose up trim right now. Yeah, so it's probably would, Yeah. In fact, you can put both your hands on your lap. Look at that. Beauty. You see, once we get it started in motion, it's going to stay there, right? Yep. We'll acted on by another force. We don't have any other forces going today. There's no wind. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it'll come. Now, look in the lower left-hand corner. You see that turn coordinator? Yeah. You see that airplane has its its wing is right on that lower box right there. You see that? Yep. This is a standard rate turn. It's a two minutes, minute, right? A two-minute turn. That's right. It says so right below the little oh, yeah. flip indicator. <laughs> and if we were to start a clock once you rolled into that turn and then stop the clock when we roll out, it's going to be two minutes. It's three degrees per second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when I said roll, I didn't tell you to do a standard rate turn, but that's what you went to, isn't it? Yeah. I just, and it's because this is comfortable. See, yeah, it doesn't, it's comfortable. It doesn't upset our eardrum. It doesn't upset our vision. And this is one reason, when we're doing instrument procedures and stuff, this is the kind of turns we do. Okay. And it's because you won't get upset. Yeah. You think you can make this thing go the other direction? I think I could. Okay, let's do it. Roll out right there on your river. Now the nose wants to come up because you got a little better trim, don't you? So push yep. forward slightly and roll right into the right. And what we're going to do is get those same control forces established going the other direction. Okay. So there you go. Once you get it set up in that turn, guess what? You don't have to touch the trim again, do you? No. Because it's already trimmed. You got the same control forces. So yeah. now then just come all the way around to the right. Easy, <laughs> easy, easy peasy. Do you think this would work if we were doing a steeper bank turn? I think this is work? Do you think this would work? Oh. I mean, we're doing a standard rate turn now, which is about a 15 degree or so. Uh-huh. What if we were doing a 30 degree bank turn? Could we do the same thing? I guess if you had the trim set right. Yeah. 45 degree bank turn? Yeah. 60? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It would just take more up trim, wouldn't it? Yeah. And more power. Okay. You see, as we roll into that turn, and we get more nose up trim, that's because we're producing more lift. Yeah. We got to produce more lift because we have the wing turning. Yes. It's not level anymore. Right. So we got to generate more vertical component of lift. Yeah. If we produce lift, what are we producing? As well. It's a product of lift. Drag? Drag. That's right. So if I produce more drag, if I want to keep the same airspeed, I must. Increase power. Increase thrust. That's right. So in, in a shallow bank turn like this, we don't really have to increase the power. We're not in, producing that much more lift or yeah. that much more drag. But if we were to do a 30, 45, 60 degree bank turn, we got to have substantially more power because we're producing more drag. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. So we're coming back around to our river. Look there, you're absolutely perfect on altitude. Yeah. You're really working hard at this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. <sighs> Roll out on your river. Now we 
add a little bit of back elevator trim. So what you're going to have to do, probably, push it down a little bit or take out that elevator trim. Yeah. You can see where it ends up here. You feel that little bubble right there? I did. That was your wake turbulence. Oh, from me? Yeah. You created that huh. disturbance in the air, and then we went through it as we came back, right? Interesting. All right. Good job. Good turn. Let's go fly down over our new runway down there. That sounds good. All right. Do they know what kind of traffic pattern it's going to have yet? No. I know that uh, it will probably be traffic patterns on the southwest side of the runway. It is possible that we would have a right-hand pattern on our north runway and a left-hand pattern on the south runway. Yeah. Uh, right across the river is a route for the C-130s. Uh, yeah, I remember we flew over one one time. Right. And so if we're in a left-hand pattern for our north runway, uh, we could be nose-to-nose -nose with C-130s. Yeah. So either they're going to have to change their route, or we're going to have to change this path. Direct traffic. I doubt that's going to be addressed by the uh, South West inbound for landing. Country air. Yeah, I think they would win that meeting. Right. Well, no, everybody loses. Well, that's, that's true. Yeah. All right. So we've flown down here into our uh, training area. We've done some turns. I haven't seen any traffic. Have you seen any traffic? No, not a bit. All right. So let's get ourselves set up. We're going to just do a, uh, a power on stall. Okay. Okay. So to do this, what I'd like to do is just make a, a turn to the right to the west and then a turn back to the left to the south. And this is going to help us clear a little bit, but it's going to put us on a heading, okay? So okay. let's make a turn to the right. We're just kind of clearing the area. We have been looking, but we're going to look again yeah. before we start the maneuver. And as we're making these turns, we could actually reduce our power, right, to slow down because of power on stall is a departure stall. We're going to configure the airplane just like we do for takeoff, yes. which means flaps up and our airspeed down to about 55 or 60, right? Right. Now turn back to the left. Just maintain our altitude. As you reduce the power, it wants to descend. So yeah. reduce the power by hold the nose up. Don't let it descend. Hold the nose up. And find yourself a nice line to follow down here on the ground. Yeah. Look down that line straight out in the distance and find yourself something to use as a reference point. And roll out on that reference point. Now don't descend. Keep the nose up. Keep the nose up. Don't descend. All we're wanting to do is slow down, right? Yes. We don't want to descend in the Tango getting Charlie. ready for this. Cross tower 372 Tango Charlie, uh, left base, runway 37. We need to slow down a little more. There's your airspeed. Now, as you come in with your power, just rotate the nose up. Now, one of the drawbacks to having a clear sky is you got nothing to hold up here, but yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Little right rudder. Take right rudder. Right rudder. Hold that nose up. If we said okay, well, let's recover. All we got to do is put the nose down. Keep going to your point. Airspeed's coming alive. Bring the nose back above the horizon. Bring it on up. Bring it on up. And we demonstrate that we're climbing out. Yeah, we have a positive rate of climb. There it goes. There you go. Good positive rate of climb. See, our airspeed's about 75. This is good. Okay, we can level off. All right. 
You want to do that one more time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just pull the power back. Makes you nervous, but I think that's a good thing. Yeah. Did a good job holding your direction. Now, since I fell with my right wing first, is that a bad thing? No, it just means that we were using maybe a little too much right rudder. Yeah. There's your air speed. Fine. Should it go? Yep. Now, what I'm using is my side of my window. Since I have nothing in front to look at, yeah. if I'm going left or right, I can see it out the side window. There's the stall. Nose back down. Airspeed alive. Nose back up above the horizon, above the horizon, above the horizon, above the horizon, above the horizon. There you go. OK. Now then, we're climbing. See how we got to get the nose above the horizon. We want to stop the descent and start a climb. Yeah, I need to do that a little quicker, huh? No, you don't have to be quick. Just make it nice and smooth and don't stop. Just okay. keep bringing it back up. Good job. OK, now. We're going to do a power off stall. Okay. Okay. We do it just like a landing, right? So, carburetor heat to idle, or carburetor heat out. I'm sorry, carburetor heat out. Power about 1700. Just hold our nose. Bring our power on back. There you go. We're letting the airspeed slow down, so we're not allowing the nose to drop. We're in our white arc, flaps 10. Now allow the nose to come down and start a turn to the left. And we're letting the nose come down because we don't want to stall just yet. Right. right. Said we normally are, this is just like an approach to landing. So we roll out here, 10 more on the flaps, look left, look back ahead, Turn left. We're descending. That's good. Airspeed staying good. Nice coordinated. Nice, easy, smooth turn. We don't have to do any big banks. Get on a line or a track going back to the north here now. Okay. Got a reference All point. Right. Got your reference point. Bring our flaps down full. Allow the nose to come up and bring it on up above the horizon. Bring the power all the way off. Now just hold that, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. There's the stall. Relax. Push power, carburetor, heat. There you go. Flaps to 10. Keep the nose down. Airspeed's coming alive. Now nose comes okay. up. Start a climb, start a climb, start a climb. Do we have a positive rate of climb? Yes, now. Okay, flaps up. Now, I've got the airplane. I'm going to show you something. Where's your okay. reference point? Uh, just that bridge over there. Oh, is that where you were going? Yeah. Okay, I was going toward that line up there. Oh, okay. So our reference points were different. Yeah. Okay, good deal. You got the airplane. Okay. Go ahead. Continue to climb back up to uh, 2,500 feet. Yeah, I'm going to turn just a little bit over it. But got off a little bit. Let's continue to climb. Oh, okay, you are. Just doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't, does it? You want to do that one more time? Yeah. yeah. Let's get back up to 2,500. There's just more to do. There's yeah. more steps to it. Yeah. We don't want to enter a secondary stall by pulling up too soon, but we don't want to gain a lot of airspeed by leaving the nose down too long. So right. it's kind of a, yeah. you just got, it's a feel kind of thing. And really it's a cadence. Yeah. And I think, um, I think my eyes get wide looking at the ground and exactly. I'm not checking out my speed and I don't know when to start pulling up and how much yet. Right. All right. So let's set it up one more time. Rubber heat first. Thank you. Okay. Inside our white arc. Start a turn to the left. Don't. Now look ahead. Now turn. There you go.
Roll out, flaps 10 more. One more turn. I'll let it go down a little bit more. Get yourself a reference point. Yeah. Got it? Got it. Flaps full. Allow the nose to come up. Pull the power off. There you go. Bring it on up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. There it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not that much. Not that much. <laughs> Powerful, not partial. Laps to 10. Now then, nose above the horizon. Yeah, that's the one that gets me sometimes. Right, and it's because you're... Yeah. It... There you go, I got the airplane. You I'll got it. Let you take a break. I'm going to show you a couple things, okay? okay. I think I need to write those down and just go through them in my brain a bunch of times. Yep. So we're cruising along here, and we enter the downwind for our traffic pattern, and we're all ready to get set up for a landing. Okay. Right? Canway 2, Canway 4 0, TT Tango is back, Texas, runway 8 for departure, Canway. Alright, so we're in the downwind, we're all set up for a landing, we're going to bring out our carburetor heat out, we're going to pull our power back to about 1700. Now I'm not looking at this. I watched you look at this all yeah. the way to 1700. What you end on doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay. So this is not where my focus should be. Focus should be out here because I'm maintaining direction with my rudder pedals, right? Right. So focus is outside. My airspeed is down to white arc. I put in flaps 10. I allow the nose to come down below the horizon just to keep my airspeed going. And I start a left hand turn. Nice, easy turn. I don't need any big banks. I don't want to take all day doing it either. So just good 20 degree bank turn, something like that. I hate throwing out a number because now you're going to try to do it. So, <laughs> okay, so here's my line. I'm doing is using these lines on the ground. I'm going right. to roll out on that and say, okay, I'm going to go flaps 10 more and a little more turn. Left turn back to south here. Again, I'm using these lines that I see on the ground, tree lines, fence rows, whatever it is. I'm gonna roll out on one of those, take a look out in the distance to find that little molehill out there. I'm gonna go flaps full, the nose comes up. See how I didn't do anything, it comes yeah. up. Now I have to hold it up there if I pull the power off. Yeah. So I'll hold it up. Now when this thing stalls, watch what happens. Four zero two two tango departing runway eight. Be a left turn out departure. North it goes North. down. I want to put the nose about right there. So you hold it up at this point? Right here is where okay. I want it. I don't want it all the way down. Power carburetor heat full. Flaps to ten. My airspeed starts coming alive. Now a nice easy pull, but straight on up above the horizon. See, I just nailed about seventy knots. Yeah. And I had the nose down, and I just pulled right on up above the horizon. Now I'm climbing away. I have a good positive airspeed. Climbing away. We'll bring the nose down just a little bit. And flaps up. Okay. Yeah, I think what I'm doing is I'm just letting it go down all the way. I'm not trying to keep yeah, it. You're, control you're not controlling it. You're allowing yeah. it to do what it's going to do. Yeah. But yeah, I did say you, you relax, but your nose is going to come down, but you don't want, you do want to control it. Okay. I'm going to show you one more thing about this stall. And also, did you see how quickly I came in with the carburetor heat power? Yeah. Hey, Terry, if 
traffic not real fast. Yes. Nice, easy. You don't have to be slam bam. I got to get it all done right now. It's bring nose down. Carver heat power comes in. Flaps to ten. Now bring the nose up. Start a climb. Yeah. What if we totally botch this thing up and we don't do this stuff? Then we'll just keep going down. Well, we'll see. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we'll do one more. You ready? Yeah. That's never, never a thing you want to hear in an airplane. Hey, watch this. <laughs> yeah. Let's find out what happens. Let's see what happens if we do this. <laughs> Fact is, the airplane's built to fly. Yeah. And, and unless you've got it totally trimmed, out of trim or something, it's going to fly. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and go right into it. Flaps are 10. I'm just going to do it straight ahead. That's fine. Flaps are 20. Flaps are full. Bring the power off. Nose wants to come down. Or I have to pull back to bring the nose up. Yeah. There's a stall. There's a stall. There's a stall. Ah. There's a stall. Okay, I'm just going to relax. Now, if I just relax completely, the nose wants to go straight down, but watch. Yeah. Watch what happens. We start building airspeed. Nothing happens. We're just going to the ground. Is it bad to have the flaps down this, this much? Not going to hurt it, really. That flap speed really is more for the flap motors. Okay. So, if I don't do anything, I'm just going to descend down to the ground. Okay. Okay, I'm going to recover. Power carburetor heat comes in. Now the nose. Now I've got to control it or yeah. I will get a stall. Yeah, power on stall. Power on five stall. Pictures, so I'm going to control it. I've got to bring the flaps up to 10 to get the drag off. But now that I have the drag off, I got the nose above the horizon, my carburetor heat power full in. I'm climbing away. I have a good climb airspeed. Bring the flaps up. Okay. Okay. But I did all that to help you understand it, it's not a, we have this anxiety about stalls, yeah. but the airplane's built to fly. As long as we don't over control it, yeah. it's going to fly. Now, where is that, where do we normally get in a power on, a power off stall? During landing. During landing. Yeah. But we don't have a thousand feet to give up. Right. Right. And so we can't just be lackadaisical about it like that and allow to lose a thousand feet. Yeah. Because we don't have it to give. But that demonstration was to help you just feel more comfortable with what's happening. Yeah. To understand what the airplane's doing and what our job is. Right. Okay. Yeah. You that have works. the airplane. All right. You can do one of those if you want. Just recover it. Don't have to be in any hurry. Just recover it at a pace that you feel comfortable. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and turn and go back over. They got the X's down there. Yep, otherwise people will be trying to land on it. Hey, where's the FBO? <laughs> well, you see all those trucks out there? Traffic 15 Victor is entering a left downwind for 18 full stop from the east. Nathan. Where did he say? Aiden? Not sure. Huh. Mina, I thought, but. Oh, Mina, yeah, maybe so. Yeah, Mina's a long way away. 
<laughs> you don't usually hear beating the traffic, and I'm not even sure they're on our frequency. Huh. Okay. Carberry first. Uh, four miles to the south, southeast, inbound to land, Hazen. Hazen 15 Victor is left downwind. Kylene eight seven eight Mike here, about uh, eight miles to the northwest. We'll enter a uh, left downwind for uh, three six. Right. Hey, Terry, traffic. All right, ready? Victor, yep. simulated engine out for one eight, full stop, Hazen. 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 Got it. Cherokee 37 Whiskey has uh, traffic inside for Hazen. Roger, we're going to be uh, back taxiing to the fuel farm, so we'll try to keep it a uh, short time in the runway. No problem. Come on, climb. There we go. I don't know if that was better, but it felt a little bit better. It did feel better. I'm going to show you something. I've got the airplane. Cheers. You see this? Yeah. Line over. That's where we started. Yes, it is. We're about 30 degrees off from where we started. Why do you think that is? Because uh, when you are down, doesn't it want to go to the left? No, because when you come in with the power, it wants to go to the left. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, left turning tendency. So we were right on that line. When you push the power up full, you weren't looking ahead at the line. You were looking down at your hand. Yeah. Right? And so, boom, we turn left. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's what happens. Okay. Where you have your eyes is probably the most important thing. Because that's, you're going to go where you're looking. If you're not looking outside, you're going to go wherever the airplane wants to take you. Yeah. That's where it went. That's where it went. Okay. So as you come in with the power, have your eyes out front. Okay. And your feet will do its thing. It'll okay. keep that nose going right to your line or to your point, whatever it is you're going for. Yeah. I hadn't thought about trying to maintain the direction after the stall. Right. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Yeah, exactly. It's called instruction. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the airport. Okay. That's been fun, but you have the airplane. Yeah, it's fine. Just head to the airport whenever you're ready. Okay. Conway traffic, 767787 is four miles west of the field inbound landing conway. Hey, traffic, Cherokee 37 Whiskey turning base, runway 18. We just want to fly over the top of it. Oh, we're going to go get in a pattern. Okay. We're going to do a landing, maybe two. We've been practicing this landing stuff out here. Let's go do it, you know, over there. Without the stall part. Yeah. Preferably. <laughs> yeah. do you think you want to land on? 2-6? Yeah. Oh, and we're landing on final. The sun's not in our eyes. Yes. That would be helpful. Let's go get it. Just a part of situational awareness. This is Dave Ward Drive right here below us. Okay. If you follow Dave Ward Drive, it'll lead you right to a downwind for runway 2-6. All right. That's good to know. Right now we're at 2,600 uh, feet. Traffic pattern altitude is 1,300 feet. So we want to start a descent somewhere along here. Yeah. To enter the pattern. Yeah, uh, Asian traffic. At uh, traffic pattern altitude. Final runway 18, your full stop.
You see how when you're looking into the sun, the haze really limits your visibility. Yes. Whenever we get turned around going back away from the sun, or the sun to our back, our visibility seems to get better. Yeah. So that's another reason you might want to land with the sun to your back, given that opportunity. Yeah. I haven't heard any call my traffic for a while, have you? Neither have I, and I've, I made our call that we were to the west and coming in to land, so. We'll call entering the downwind so that people know where we are. You look at it, Dave Ward Drive put you right to the downwind for 2 6. Yeah, that's, that's cool. every time. <laughs> Now we're a little above our traffic pattern altitude. How can we go get on down to it? Take out some power. There you go. And then just parallel that runway. Day Ward gets us here, but it doesn't get us parallel to the runway. Yeah. Good job. There's your pattern out. RP. Yep. And flaps. Yep. Keep your direction. Right now we're angling in toward our final little bit. Okay. We want to keep our speed, which means we got to let our nose down. That's true. Forty-five off the end of the runway, left turn. Laps 10 more. There's your final. How do we look? High or low? Maybe a little high. Okay, reduce the power. Turn left. Leaving the nose down. Now don't don't get fixated on the runway. Look in front of you, fly a good airplane. We roll out here on final, we go, well, we're a little high, let's go full flaps. That's going to give us some drag, that's going to help us slow down. If we slow down, then we have more time to lose altitude. Okay. Reduce the power a little bit, because power is controlling altitude. It's just controlling our airspeed. What do we want our airspeed to be here? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe About 60? 60. 60 to 65. Yeah. And so you're good. You don't really want to be any lower than 60. And threshold is okay to land on this one, right? This is, yes. It's daytime and you can land on this displacement. Our hands on the throttle is controlling our altitude, so if you feel like we're low at any time, you just add power. But if we're good, we're good. As we get down here close to the runway, just pull the power back slightly, hold the nose up. Oh, there you go. A little hard. <laughs> well, you're a little bit late pulling the, power, the yeah. nose up, so, okay. If we want to go, flaps are up. Car feet in. Car feet in. Power full. Control with the rudder pedals. Our direction. Airspeed is good. We lift off. Climbing away. Now you see those two vehicles sitting there by that door? Yes. That tells me there's a jet about to land. Oh, fun. It's the Southwest Energy airplane. Okay. So I would expect to hear him on the radio. 
sometime fairly soon. Okay. But we're in the traffic pattern. He's going to want to land on two sticks. So he's going to want to enter the same pattern we're in. Okay. And so it shouldn't be a problem at all. Okay. We're just going to fly our airplane, though, looking for traffic, and we will... That's just something we know because we know their tra their pattern. Their pattern is to park their guys there by the door, pick up their execs that are flying in on the jet. Okay. All right. We have a good 400 foot above the ground now, so let's turn left into a crosswind. see anybody, don't hear anybody, left turn. There's Dave Ward again. Imagine that. <laughs> it didn't move. Very decent of it. Going to a nice parallel downwind leg, parallel to the runway. Use the sun to your advantage, keep it in the same spot. That'll keep you tracking on the same line. Now right now we are cutting in and toward the runway. So we okay. need to come to the right slightly. There's your traffic pattern altitude. Now, don't worry about that runway. It's not going to move. Find something out in front of you. Okay. Find something off the end of the runway that you're going to turn over and say, okay, there's my final point. Okay. Right? All right. Now, level out. We're beam our numbers. We need to pull out our carburetor heat. Reduce our power to about 1,700. Don't look at this gauge. Look out in front of you. Just reduce the power. Okay. Let the, hold the nose until we're flat. Flap speed. Flaps 10. Now, lower the nose. We want the nose to come down. We're starting our descent. We get that runway about 45 degrees off our left shoulder. We turn left. Okay. About right here. I was thinking of those green uh, roofed oh, that's buildings good. there. That's good. Now, when you get a chance, you know where the runway is, but you want to peek at it, because what you're really trying to decide if you need more power or less power. Okay. So make that decision and make the correction. Flaps 10. Four. There you go. It ma really matters not what your power setting is. Okay. Right? It doesn't matter what the power setting is. As well. We're, We're going to use the power. Here. We're 11 miles to the south, inbound for 26 Conway, request of batteries. Conway traffic, Cessna 67787 is on a uh, mile and a half final for runway 26 will be full stop Conway. Winds are calm. Full flaps. Flaps full. Thank you, sir. And we're the only people in the pattern here, so we'll be out of your way. I right, appreciate it. All I right. Still a little high. Oh, I think you're doing all right. Now, if you look at the two lights to the left of the runway, yeah. one's pink and one's white. That is the glide path you should be on. But we're sinking pretty good, so now we have two pink. Yeah. Okay? So that's saying we're going to be a little short. There you go. Now, what that is doing, though, is it's giving you a landing point beyond the 2-6. Okay. Yeah. Let's right, keep her coming down. Looking good. The runway is made. You can just slowly start pulling power back. Yep. Now hold the nose up, hold it off. Hold it off, hold it off. Oh. <laughs> All right. 
we'll just roll on out and we'll take it to the house. All right. What do you think? I think it's been in a month and a half, maybe yeah. two. Two, yeah. <laughs> Still good though. Nice to get back up. I think I need to work on holding the nose off a little more. All right, we're not working on landings at this point. Okay. But yes. <laughs> okay. RP then? Not till after we. Okay. Let's clear the runway. When we're on the runway, we want all of our attention to be focused around the runway. Okay. And our movement on it. Once we get off the runway, which means passing that whole short line, then we can come to a stop and we can reconfigure the airplane. It'd bring the flaps up, carburetor heat in, reset the trim if we want change the radio, set our lights. We could even pull out a checklist and run a checklist if we wanted at this point. But if we've done all those things, we've done everything, so we continue the taxi. Okay. Conway traffic, so just 203, Whiskey Sierra is left base 26 dollars. And we're just gonna taxi right back over to our parking spot. Okay. Whiskey Sierra 67787 is clear of the runway. Thank you, sir.